The winds of change are blowing in the automotive marketplace, especially in the hot, compact sport utility vehicle market. That's why Honda's redesigned the 2017 CRV from the inside out and have done an amazing job. It is a gorgeous step in luxury, in performance, in technology and comfort. I'm a fan, and I bet once you see it, you will be too. The exterior styling has been nicely enhanced. It's a little more aggressive, dynamic in that regard. You'll notice the nicely styled Lexan protected LED daytime running lamps and headlights and of course the integrated fog lights plus the lower body cladding which enhances not only the protection of the vehicle but also the appearance just like the chrome accents even with the chrome body insert it makes it stand out a little bit more than the previous editions now what's nice is what a lot of auto manufacturers are doing up front is adding the active front grille where at lower speeds the grille will open up to allow air into the engine to cool it off but at higher speeds it's going to close it up to make the car more aerodynamically enhanced and help with the performance as well as the fuel efficiency. Now speaking of fuel efficiency you can look forward to getting up to 28 miles per gallon around town and up to even 34 on the highway. Obviously those are estimates depending on the particular driving mode and the conditions you're driving in and the vehicle you pick. Now under the hood, oh, and that's, that is a heavy hood. It's amazing how Honda lightens up the vehicle in certain ways, such as with their ACE body construction, their advanced compatibility engineering design. That'll help reduce weight, again, performance, but still add a tremendous amount of safety to it. And that safety extends even to the places they don't lighten up, such as the hood areas, because you have a strong hood crumple zones up front to absorb impacts. It's safely designed. But the real fun under the hood, ta-da, are your choice of engines. Now you do have four Honda CRV models available. You have the base LX. And if you get the LX, you're going to get the 2.4 liter inline four cylinder with variable valve timing, electronically controlled, direct injected engine that'll generate 184 horsepower, 180 foot pounds of torque. But when you go to the EX and above models, such as the Touring we have today, this comes with a 1.5 liter turbocharged, intercooled, double overhead cam engine that will generate 190 horsepower, 179 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, it's a fraction less torque than the base model, but the turbo more than makes up for it. Wait till you get behind the wheel and step on the throttle, man. You will enjoy it. When you can, in life, turbo. Go turbo. That's just my opinion. You do have, as far as transmission is concerned, the CVT with the sport mode to it. So that kind of gives you a little bit more fun as you're cruising down the highway. Okay, let me show you the rest of the car. Solid construction, clean lines throughout. Look at the aerodynamic design of the mirrors to cut across with, of course, your blinker on the side you have your McPherson strut independent suspension up front, multi-link rear independent suspension in the rear. Keyless entry, ta-da, and keyless push button start. Plus, you have a walkaway feature. That is, with your key fob in your pocket, as soon as you walk away from the vehicle, it'll lock. See, I told you, I'm back. Speaking of unlocking, check this out. You now have available hands-free access to your rear cargo area. This is height adjustable. A lot of people don't realize that. I just pull it down. Hold this button, it beeps twice, and that's as high 
is that will rise. Now, I want it to go higher. Done. Woo. What you have here with the back seat up is you have 35.2 cubic feet of cargo space, as well as when you drop the 60-40 split rear seat, you have 75.8 cubic feet of cargo space. And that's a lot of room. And the bottom area here in the cargo area is adjustable. So you can actually raise the floor if you want a little bit less space or more cargo underneath, or you could lower it. Boom, bam, choice is yours. As well as your choice of uh, privacy covers as well. What the heck, this is nice. I told you, I'm a fan of the vehicle. I like cargo space. I really do. <laughs> Well, this is cozy. Now, supposed to be a way to get out of here. Okay. <laughs> this even has remote start for the vehicle. So on those cold days, you can start it up, get it all nice and warm and cozy. On those blistering hot summer days, you can cool it off. Boom. Thank you, Honda. I've been waiting for this feature all my life. See? It's got a safety mechanism, so as soon as you hit something, you're leaning in there, somebody pushes the button, you're not gonna be hurt, hopefully. All right, well, while we're at the back end of the vehicle, I might as well point out, you do have the integrated rear spoiler, which is really nice. And on the Touring Edition, you actually have the uh, roof rails as an added feature, which I think adds to the appeal. But I love the dual exhaust at the bottom. That gives it that hard, you know, sort of, whoa, look out, I'm coming down the road feel. And you can't help but think of the Honda Civic because it's based on the same platform agenda. And there are some similarities shared between the two vehicles, kind of like the very distinctive LED rear brake lights. Those really stand out nice at night and uh, let people know that uh, Honda's in front of them. I like it. And I'm a big fan of the uh, moonroof as well, which is nice. And every once in a while, somebody that watches our videos asks, what color vehicle is it that you're reviewing? Well, this one, very distinctive as, well, kind of like the wheels. It's the Molten Lava Pearl with a beautiful clear coat on top. And they have amazing colors to choose from. One to suit your own personality, your own taste, your own style. All right, why don't we start this with a uh, push of a button. Very nice. Now the backup camera comes in very handy because I'm in a tight spot down here in Alexandria. We're going to maneuver out. And you have automatic locks. As soon as you start to drive off, your doors are locked. So it gives you a little bit more peace of mind. I mean, it's interesting the way they have uh, the doors lock when you walk away and when you drive away. They just really want to protect you and your belongings, which is very nice. Now, even though this is based on the Honda Civic platform, the mere fact that you're sitting so high up, getting such a wide commanding view of the road, you really can't associate it with the vehicle then. But there are some of the interior components that definitely remind you of the Honda Civic, like your seven inch screen, nice touch screen which is great. Everybody loves a good touchscreen. And then you have your volume control right here with the power button, which everybody complained when they took it away. So now it's back. And this has the Garmin Navi, which is really nice. One of the systems I really appreciate and enjoy. But if you go to the lower level uh, trims, you don't need that. You can just hook up your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. There's a lot more intuitive uh, connectivity with the Honda Link now. And you can download different apps for a variety of things. It's a little bright, so you put your visor down. What Honda's done is even added a little extended visor here now, as needed. You have plenty of storage all the way around, storage in the side bins, large glove box. The center storage area here with the uh, movable uh, flaps, the adjusters in there, I mean, that's tons of room. And uh, all your convenience of the steering wheel controls. 
Even the scroll button acts as a mute button now on the stereo. And speaking of stereos, your base models have the eight speaker system, but the premium system we're in, nine speakers plus a subwoofer, 330 watts of power. And that is great to hear. <laughs> Get it here? It's great power to hear. It's sound oriented sort of reference. I love my moonroof. I love the performance of the engine, that turbo. It feels good, it sounds good, and the styling of the vehicle, you look good. It's, it's the nice upgrade. The interior is more luxurious. You've got the simulated wood. You've got the kind of brushed aluminum accent, which we know isn't really aluminum. But your digital gauges are easy to read, dead center. And I like the fact that you can open the hatch from a button on the dash. You can open it from a button on your key fob. You can open it from a button underneath the hatch itself. And you can also use the hands-free foot motion to open it. So they make it as about as convenient as possible. The two-level storage area in the cargo area is kind of nice. Um, the fact that 60-40, like we said, is good. And uh, there's more room. There's more passenger space. There's more convenience. And there's more technology. Now, everybody wants an unbiased opinion. And I have to tell you, I'm a little biased. The reason is, years ago, my wife bought a 2004 Honda CRV, And she loved it. It was white, and she called it Snowflake. Well, we ended up passing that on to our daughter to drive when she got her driver's license. And now this vehicle is 13 years old, got 140,000 miles on it, and still drives like a dream. So I am a little biased. But if I had to find a couple things that I wasn't crazy about with the new vehicle here, I would say that number one, you have a great steering wheel, leather wrapped, nice leather seating surfaces, but the center uh, CVT shifter doesn't have any leather on it. I mean, come on. Now, another complaint, this is major. You have two USB connectivity ports right up here in the center console, and those are one amp and one and a half amps. But the two in the back are 2.5 amps. What's the deal? How come the kids in the back got more juice than me? I paid for this vehicle. I should have the two and a halfs up front. Sorry, I'm venting. Anyway, other than that, What's nice is you're in a compact sport utility vehicle where it doesn't feel so compact on the inside, but it's easy to maneuver on the outside. And the power steering is very light, very nicely controlled, and you have all the convenience of the fingertip touch controls on the steering wheel as well. And the CVT does a wonderful job. You've got your econ button right here to maximize your fuel efficiency and you have uh, a nice luxuriously appointed interior. There's a little uh, sunglass storage area there and the mirror back here so you can talk to your kids in the back. Hi kids! Or whoever's back there, grandma. Hi grandma! Don't forget to turn on your oxygen. <laughs> you forgot one time. <laughs> that wasn't pretty. Okay, I'm just kidding. Grandma's fine. Now, as far as safety is concerned, and everybody is concerned about safety to a degree, you obviously have quad disc brakes with ABS, anti-lock braking system. You have your electronic brake force distribution, your vehicle stability assist. You also have blind spot detection now. They took out the uh, blind spot camera on the vehicle now. So you've got your blind spot detection, gives you a visual in that regard. And you also have your backup camera with your three mode setting. So that gives you a lot more convenience too. Now the Honda Sensing package offers you a number of features such as adaptive cruise control, road departure mitigation, oh my gosh, forward collision warning, forward collision braking mitigation, as well as a lane keep assist and lane departure warning. So it's gonna keep you safe. That's a good thing. Okay, well people are gonna ask how much does this magnificent machine run? Well, the base models run about 24,000 and change, and the vehicle top of the line touring we're in right now has a price tag of around 34.7. But for what you get, the control, the safety, the technology, the roominess, the comfort, the luxury, I think it's an investment well made. I can't believe it's been 20 years since the C 
RV was first introduced. That's craziness. But time flies when you're having fun. And the CRV's just gotten better and better and better year after year. And I think you'll find that they've really brought it to a new level of luxury and technology and performance. And it's gonna be a class leader. I bet it will, no doubt about it. Probably their best seller. All right, you wanna feel some fun? Bam! <laughs> Ah, uh, that's fun.